On second and two, they'll swing it left sideline to Apollo. He has a catch in between the seams to the 30, to the 27, out at the 24. Pickup of 16, Opalabi's first catch of the year. Colonels are on the move. On second and 10 with three receivers, 4K passing. End zone again, left sideline. Jean-Pierre goes up and gets it. 6 nothing Colonels on a 23-yard score to Damian Jean-Pierre. Front four, prime pressure, swarming Britton and sacking him. Sully Lesh has the first sack of his career, and it's back-to-back three and outs to start the game for the Cardinals. And that's what I'm talking about. You let these guys know it's a passing situation, they're going to get off that football, and they're going to get some pressure. Lesh just kept on working, dumps him. Big loss back to the four. They're going to be punting out the back of their own end zone. Colonel should get great field position on this exchange. Hand off to Taylor. Nice split to the left. Stiff arm 30. There he goes. 25, 20, 15, 10 to the five to the goal line. Just short. 38 yards. The longest run of a young career for Dontrell Taylor. Dontrell Taylor split the defense, showed some strength to get through there, then showed some speed. Had they not had the angle on him, he'd have took it to the end zone. Instead, rolls down to the three-yard line. Big game. Not Colonel's knocking on the door again. Single back is Dontrell Taylor. Give it back to him. Taylor cut right into the end zone for the second time this season. 13-0, Colonels. Opalaby was 78 yards rushing. Taylor was 64 on the ground. A third and short for Nichols. They'll put Jean-Pierre in the slot right with Mason Roberts far side right. Running back is Opalaby. He gets it. Squirts through the middle, and he's into the end zone. Now you see him. Now you don't. Touchdown, Colonels. It's 20 to six, Nichols. And that was exactly what he did to play before. He just gets in the middle, sidesteps, ducks his head, and squirts into the end zone. Touchdown. Great job by the Colonels. They come out, run time off the clock, and get the ball in the end zone. 21 first downs for the Colonels, just one for Incarnate Word, and a play fake on second down. Lesh in the backfield for the sack, and he erupted through the line. He didn't buy on the pump fake by Britton, and Trent Britton realized immediately, oh, this is not going to end well. Jays 4K, Colonels with 360 yards of total offense. They're up by 15, and they'll take over at their own 23. Shotgun play fake, pass left sideline, bullet that's low and secured at the 26, gain of four yards, first catch of Christian Booker's career. Negative nine yards rushing for Incarnate Word. They trail 21 to six, 418 to play in quarter number three, and they'll try to get the run game going off to the mm. left. And Evan Verone says, sit down, and it's the height. They replace Broderick Reeves, and the second carry of the year for height goes for negative four. Chase 4K, true freshman quarterback looking like a seasoned veteran. And from the left hash, he'll play fake, roll the right, won't pump to tally. He'll go middle to LaBeouf for the first down. Near side to midfield, tackle at the 49. Longest reception of Stephen LaBeouf's career. It goes for 22 yards. And again, this is just the patience of 4K. Just rolls out, takes his time, looks down the field, lets LaBeouf come all the way across. Second time we've seen that route successful. First and five from the 45 of Incarnate Word. Another play fake and 4K passing. Pumps, throws safe to the left. Hits Opalaby outside the numbers. It'll cut middle. First down, 35-30. Opalaby loose to the 24. Tackled after a gain of 21 for a guy that didn't have a catch in his career. He's made a couple big receptions today. Final 25 seconds in quarter number three. Play clock's already down to five. 4K with three receivers. He will take the snap from the middle of the field. Right sideline to Bates. He goes up, holds on. He's inbounds for a gain of 23 yards. First and goal for the Colonels. How about that catch? And there's a little activity after. And for the second time in C.J. Bates' Colonel career, he has a 100-yard receiving performance. Tied a... Colonel career mark with 11 catches against Central Arkansas last year. Five catches, 101 yards today. Second and six for the Colonels. Left hash play fake for 4K to the end zone. Booker, touchdown for the freshman. He's in the end zone. Freshman to freshman for six, 34 to 14 Nichols. Nothing is easy when you're trying to change the culture, change the expectations of a program. A team that was on one of the longest losing streaks in FCS play before Tim Rebo arrived is one play away from a 1-0 record in Southland Conference play. Fourth and 15 for Incarnate Word. They trail 35-28 to from their own 34. Here's Britton dropping back, pressure applied. He's scrambling. He looks. He throws deep to the left where it's intercepted. Jeff Hall, now he wants to take it back. Right sideline, 30. 
to the 25, still inbounds, turning to the middle. They're telling him to get down. He won't. He's at the 20. He's at the 15, and he's down at the 13. Colonels are going to open the Southland Conference season with a win at home. Britton with nowhere to go, just knew it was fourth down. He had to get rid of it. Nobody was out there but Jeff Hall. Got to be a great feeling. It's never easy. You said it. But it's a win. Listen to this fan. Nichols 35 and Carnet Word 28. The Colonels rack up 500 yards of total offense, and they hold on for the first time in program history. Nichols has a win against Incarnate Word.